Welcome back to Game Development with Pygame. In this episode, we will be adding power-ups to our shmup game. So we're getting pretty close to having a complete game, but one thing that we're definitely missing is power-ups. And there's a couple kind of power-ups we can do. Uh, we can do power-ups that give you shield, so there's a way to get some shield uh, points back, and then we can also do some power-ups that will increase your or improve your uh, guns. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this class bullet just so that I can use that to make my class power up. And we'll just call it a POW for short. Now, power ups, when we spawn them, we're going to just give pass them the center um, of the mob that we just blew up. So when I shoot a meteor and it explodes, there will be it'll have a chance of dropping a power up. So the center, so we're just gonna set the rect center to the center. And then we also are gonna have different kinds of power ups. So what I have here is for the art is I've got a little lightning bolt icon and that's gonna be the um, gun power up. And then I have a little shield symbol here. These are also from the Kenny game art. And those will be my two power-up images. So what we're going to do is choose randomly which kind it is. So we'll make a variable called type, and it's going to be a random choice between uh, shield and gun. So there'll be a shield power-up or a gun power-up. And then which one do we use? Well, let's go down to our loading image loading code. And we're going to add one more thing here after all of the explosions. Uh, we need to have two types of images. So power up images is going to be a dictionary. Dictionary lets you do, it's kind of like a list, except each item, instead of being numbered 0, 1, 2, 3, it can have a name. So power up images shield will be Uh, we're going to load the image dir and the file name will be is shield gold.png. And then we will just replace for the second one for the gun will be bolt underscore gold. Now in our class, we can just choose randomly between using the shield or the gun image. Our image is going to be power-up images self.type. It's whichever type we cho chose, shield or, or gun. And then when, we, when this spawns on the screen, when our player runs into it, we can say what type did they run into and do the appropriate action. Now the speed, we're going to want it to spawn somewhere and then start going downwards. And we probably don't want it to be too fast. So let's just set that at 5 right now and we'll see how it goes. And we want to kill it if it goes off the bottom of the screen. So if the top is greater than the height. Okay, and that will be our power-up sprite. Now we just need to spawn them. So we'll go down here and <clears throat> like we did with the other different sprite types, we're going to add a power ups group to put them in so we can simply do the collisions. And we're going to spawn a sprite right here if a bullet hit a mob. So what we're going to do is if the bullet hit the mob, we want to pick a random number, right? We want to have it. We want to have a chance of spawning a power up, but not necessarily always spawn one. So, if random dot random, random dot random just gives you a number, a decimal number between zero and one. So if it's greater than zero point nine, that means we're going to have a ten percent chance of dropping 
a power up. And again, we can play around with it and see if that's too much, too little, you know, or or just right. So we're going to make a, a pow at the hit dot center. We're going to add it to the all sprites, and we're going to add it to the power ups. Okay, and then we should be ready to try it out. So let's see what happens. Oops. Hit dot center. Hit dot rect dot center. All right. So let's see if. Oop, there went one, but it was kind of fast, wasn't it? Ten percent might be a little too rare. Not maybe not, but they definitely move a little too fast. So let's change that. We'll go up here and change that speed. Let's make it nice and slow and so that we have a good chance of catching them, especially while we're testing. We want these things to be easy to grab so we can make sure they work. So if we have the sprite, the, the power-up spawning and they're coming down, we are going to need to see if we hit one. So we'll add another little uh, collision check here. If the player hit, hit a power up. Okay, so this time the hits uh, check is going to be a sprite collide between the player and the power ups. And we're going to say true here because we want the power up to disappear. Now it's very unlikely that we will have two of them on the screen at the same time, but I suppose it's possible. So we need to say what happens if we catch each kind. So let's start with the shield one. That's really simple. So if we hit a shield power up, so we're going to say if hit.type is shield, then we want to give some shield back. So player.shield plus equals let's say 20. So the shield gives us back 20. The shield power up gives us back 20. Um, and if the shield is greater than or equal to oops, greater than or equal to 100, we will cap it at 100. We don't want that to go above. So now let's make them spawn temporarily. Let's make them spawn uh, very often so that we can make sure that this is working. So that we can see what the shield one does. Okay, so I need to take some hits here. And then I'll go grab a shield. There, you see my shield go back up. Let's grab another one just so we can see. Yeah, perfect. All right, so let's change that back to the 90% or the 10% chance of spawning. And what I thought I would do is instead of the player.shield, instead of the shield always giving you back exactly 20, we could make it uh, a random amount so that you never know exactly how much you're going to get back. So we could just put this as uh, anywhere, it gives you anywhere between 10 and say 30. So some of the power-ups will give you a bunch, you know, a third of your shield back almost, and then some of them will only give you a little bit. So you you want to catch as many of these as you can get to get your shields back to full. Um, okay, and that'll do it for the shield power-up. That's all we need to do. Now for the gun power-up, uh, we have a little bit more to talk about, right? If hit type equals gun, then what are we going to do? Well. There's several things we have to do, and because of that, and because our last video went way too long, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Um, if you want to go ahead before watching the next video and see if you can start figuring out how we're going to implement the gun power-up, uh, I recommend you try that, and then you can watch the next video and see um, if we were 
thinking the same thing. All right. And uh, I'll see you next time.